Hey, it's Andrew Huang. I just thought I would share this disaster with you before I hide it forever. I'm trying to finish up a track today that is several years old, and there are a couple cool things about it that I want to share with you. First of all, this sound. It's pretty basic, but it's one of my favorite patches I've created recently because of how it behaves. It's monophonic, meaning that only one note will sound at a time, no matter how many you're pressing. And I also put 95 milliseconds of glide between the notes, so that if you play them overlapping, it glides between them. But if you play them separately, it just jumps right to the next note. So that makes it super easy and fun to just be able to hit random notes and create this sort of jittery, atmospheric background thing. <laughs> If you saw my collab last week with What's Inside where we destroyed one of these, that was my old push. After I got the new one, I was trying to sell it on Craigslist and Kijiji. I kept dropping the price down like for several months, could not find a buyer. So uh, when Dan approached me about doing that collab, it just worked out. And we bought a new Ableton push to give away to one of you. If you want to enter to win, just follow me on Instagram and leave a comment on this photo. We will draw someone at random in a couple days and we'll send it to you. Doesn't matter where you live, how old you are, you just need an address. So don't feel too bad about the older model that we broke because without that, there would be no giveaway. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do on this track is a little trick that I don't use too often, but sometimes it is just perfect for kind of filling out the atmosphere of a track. What I'm gonna do is just let it play and then improvise some singing over top and just cover that in effects and kind of put it in the background. The human voice is the most unique, responsive instrument that any of us have. And this is one way to use it that really feels like a shortcut because it's so easy to get something to sound good. I'll show you. I'm just gonna do one take, completely improvised. I'm not even using a proper mic. I'm gonna sing right into my laptop. <laughs> So here's each step in how I processed this vocal. First, I duplicated it and I pitch shifted the duplicate an octave down. I EQ'd out a bunch of the highs and lows to make it a bit more thin but mellow of a sound. Then I compress the heck out of it so that the volume would be consistent throughout the whole take. I put on a de to knock down all the consonants in the gibberish that I was singing. You can get away with not doing this if you think ahead and don't sing consonants. Some chorus gives it a spacier vibe. Auto pan makes it sweep around the stereo field. Now probably the most important thing is a ton of reverb and a ton of delay. Extra super spacey. And the final piece is the second compressor that's side chained to the drums. So every time there's a loud drum hit, the volume of this vocal track will duck. It gives it this pumping, breathing quality and keeps these vocals from taking over too much of the mix. <laughs> So that's kind of what I wanted to show you about this track. I'm gonna keep on working on it and uh, play it for you right now. So I was just drumming along on the back of this chair and I think I might record it and add it to the track.
I'm in Orlando now. And I got a haircut. I'm at Playlist. So many things are happening. I hope you like the music today. It is available on Patreon right now, but I am gonna, I still wanna make some tweaks to the music, so I'll finish it up and it'll be on an album eventually. I know I say that a lot. You just wait, one day I'm gonna drop like 13 albums at a time. Thanks for watching, hope you're subscribed. I'll be back with a new video on Thursday.